With so many ways to market yourself in the digital world, how do you make sure to stand out? By getting real. In today's virtual world, real physical products make an impact like never before. I'm Barbara Hobart, and I'm here to tell you how you can create a lasting impression with your clients by putting your brand in their hands. Well, back in the 90s, I accidentally created a product that became an international company. I'm a professional comedy writer, and I was puttering around the house, and I had just bought a brand new house, and I invented the first decorative light switch plate cover that required no rewiring, and I launched my company in England. Now, this was before Google existed, and I had dial-up. So today, I help my clients create custom products on purpose. So you're probably thinking, well, my business is virtual. I don't go to a lot of networking events. Um, primarily, I work with my clients on Zoom or by email or a phone chat, which is exactly why you need to connect on a personal level with your clients and your potential clients. Well, for one thing, the information that is being hurled at everybody is at such a lightning pace, one has to basically become a circus performer. I mean, really, who wants to sit and do, sing into your hairbrush or do the lip sync thing on TikTok? Information is coming at people faster than the chocolates on the conveyor belt in Lucy's Chocolate episode. So how do you grab somebody's attention without having to do the moonwalk? How do you reach new clients and potential customers? And how often have you heard you need to engage your clients on a personal level? But what does that really look like? reminds me of something my mother Bernice taught me when I was growing up. She taught me this really valuable lesson. When you go to somebody's house for dinner, you bring something like a box of chocolates or a bottle of wine, something that you know they're going to love, something that's from you, from your heart, that's really going to resonate with them. Well, the same thing works in business. I have over 25 years of experience with product development. I have touched the entire process. And it really breaks down to three very simple steps. Think it, create it, and get it out there. The first step is to come up with a product you know your client is going to love. And no one knows your client better than you. But it's strategic. It is not just about slapping a logo on a water bottle. It's about what you know is going to resonate with your client or your potential customer. What's going to help them? And what better way to put your brand in their hands with a product that you know they're going to love? And it's going to be a gift that's going to be appreciated and used and remembered. And you are going to be remembered. So now you have the perfect idea, but how do you get it made? The world is full of resources, and here, Google is your friend. Anything is possible, from print on demand to sourcing it yourself. Or you can work with a product expert like me. Whatever you choose, your product can be made in as little as a few weeks. So, now you have your product, it's time to get it into the hands of your client. And if you're worried about turning your dining room table into a mailing facility, don't. There are tons of fulfillment centers you can work with, and it doesn't cost a lot of money, and they'll do it all for you. Now that you know how doable this is, let's think about some fun products you can create. Start by asking yourself, 
What type of business is my client in and what do they use every day? Do they travel? Do they have a home office? Or do they also work virtually? From a corporate environment to a fitness studio, people work at all different kinds of places. Ask yourself, where does your client work? Having drinks together when you can't be in the same place? What about some really fabulous cocktail kits or a spot of tea and cookies at the end of a long day? All branded with your logo. There are so many opportunities to be present and connect on a personal level. There's holidays and birthdays, anniversaries, welcome gifts, thank you gifts. You get the idea. What about when you're at a trade show or a networking event? You can have your products there in real time, making a bigger impact than a business card ever could. Have you ever thought about having a cookie as your calling card? It's all about thinking outside the box and using your imagination to make a real impression on your future clients and keeping you top of mind with your existing network. Now you know how it's possible to make your brand pop. Go to barbarahobart.com and I'll send you some really unique product ideas from eco-friendly gifts to high-tech gadgets or book a free 15-minute discovery call with me and we can think outside the box together.